this episode, we're talking about expandability and customization. So keep watching to find out more. Hi there. I'm James, I'm one of the directors here at Astra Lumos and today in this episode on our top 10 tips for choosing lighting control, heating control and audio visual, we're going to be talking everything expandability and customization. In all honesty, all the systems that I've done videos on such as um, obviously Reiko for the lighting control, Heatmiser for the heating control, um, Audio visual, I haven't really reviewed a brand yet. Uh, Sonos is obviously a really well-known brand. Um, if you went down something like the Denon and then the Heos route, which is what me personally, what I've got in my house, uh, which I have touched on, that's also a really good brand. Um, in fact, let me go back. So lighting control. Systems such as Reiko, Lutron, uh, well, Reiko and Lutron anyways, um, they are expandable. So often when we have to try and retrofit lighting control systems into existing installations, those would be my two choices um, because they both offer wireless expandable systems. So you can take a conventionally wired house, uh, use either Reiko or Lutron and basically convert it into lighting control within reason um obviously if if all the wiring is there it can be a bit more tricky um but both of those are highly customizable highly expandable um and wouldn't hesitate to recommend either obviously we've we've mentioned reiko quite a lot on our youtube channel um that's because we always love backing british bands uh they're uk design and made uh, down in kent and their technical team is really good um Heat and control, uh, obviously we're a big fan of Heat Miser uh, here at Astralumos, so that also is really expandable. Um, and in fact, in one of our projects, they've got ooh, something like 18 to 20 Heat Miser Neos um, running off a single hub, and then that is just pure controllability of everything. So they've got wet underfloor heating throughout the property um, because it's a, the way the property was made, long story short, but they've got concrete floors. Uh, so they've got wet heating everywhere. So heat miser, expandable system, able to just keep adapting to how your life changes. Um, and also you're able to use sort of like the heat miser Neo E if you've got a little bit of electric underfloor heating mixed in with either a wet system, that sort of thing. So um, once again, heat miser, really expandable, able to flex and adjust as life changes. Um, and then always gives you that access, that remote access able for you to control your heating whilst you're away from the home. Audio visual, uh, a little bit more tricky depending on what you're after. So. Me personally, I have a Denon 7.2 amp um, for my, basically for my, for my living room. So where I watch movies, I've got 7.1 surround sound. Uh, well, in fact, currently I'm running 5.1, um, but the amp will do 7.2.2 um, for those of you who are audiophiles and are really into it. Um, but Denon released Heos which is their multi-room version. Um, and obviously having, I'm always a big fan of having a, a single ecosystem for whatever you're doing so that everything likes to talk together really nicely. So for example, when I've got, um, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but when I have my Christmas Eve party here and I have all my friends and family over, um, the lounge via the amplifier will be playing the same radio station or playlist whatever we've decided to listen to as the four multi-room speakers i've got dotted throughout the property um, and that's always a good thing so denon and hios make a really good really good pairing um sonos i know that they do do 5.1 7.1 one surround but me personally i prefer the amplifier to be doing the clever thinking 
um, and not sort of the programming, but that's just my personal preference. Things like Wi-Fi, CCTV, um, to a lesser extent, uh, access control. Obviously, we're a big fan here of Unify systems, um, and we found that they their system in particular is very flexible in terms of expansion, contraction, adding, subtracting, that sort of thing. So um, I've got that in my property, and I currently run um, four access points um, and they all have essentially have their own little Wi-Fi network because I've got them in places that I need specific Wi-Fi network in that area. Um, and then obviously with the Unify Protect, um, I've gone from one camera to six cameras down to two cameras. And it's really easy just to sort of add, remove, add, remove um, as I see fit. So if you are going down the route and you're thinking, well, I want some lighting design, but maybe not everywhere, but I also want the the flexibility that if we do some landscaping in the future, can my light control then be expanded out into the garden? Something like Rayco or Lutron, perfect every time. Um, same with the heating controls. If you've got a property, but you're thinking long-term, right, we're gonna build that extension. Yes, we're gonna have, okay, electric underfloor in the extension because we couldn't get the wet pipes across there. Heat miser can easily pick that up on your way through. Um, and then audio visual, uh, somebody, if you're like me and you, you like having that sort of 5.1, 7.1 in your main movie viewing, TV viewing room, but you do want some other multi-room audio, a Denon HEOS setup um, could work really well. So if you have, if you have any more questions or if that's uh, perhaps created more question than answered, please reach out be happy to help you. Otherwise, I'll see you on tip number seven on the next video.